For the purposes of geological mapping, scale is dead. If you want to know why, then this is a video for you. I'm Nick Tate, and this is another video in the series of Field Craft for Geologists. This is the headline version for YouTube. If you want the detail on each video, go to the link below in the description. It'll only cost you a few bucks, and once you're signed up, you'll get all the videos that are already there, plus anything new that I shoot as I find interesting things in the field. In the old days, geological mapping was done at some defined scale. Base maps were prepared at that scale, and you went out into the field and drew on them with pens and pencils. Those days are gone. The reason is this. Mobile computing, GPS, and everything being recorded in a GIS format. When you're working on paper, the amount of detail you can record is limited by the scale of the map. So for example, on a 100,000 scale map, the thinnest pencil line you can draw is about 20 metres wide. So geologists tended to ignore things that were smaller than 20 metres wide. That's a bit unfortunate because some things less than that are actually pretty important. This thing here is a nice big epithermal quartz vein and it's only about three metres wide. But it's also several kilometres long, so that's pretty important. Mapping at a consistent scale on paper limited the amount of detail that you could get in areas that were important. The advent of GIS and particularly mobile computers linked to GPS positioning gave us the ability to map at any scale at any position and just zoom in to add more detail. If you want to get really detailed, you can use a differential corrected GPS and plug it into the back of this thing and then you'll be down to centimetres accuracy. If you need more accuracy than that, you're an engineer. The best strategy now is to identify the areas of importance first from historical data and then a broad mesh of traverses and then focus on the areas that need more detail. That means that all the data gets stored in one data set instead of multiple maps at different scales. That's a much easier way to store it and much easier way to review it. The amount of detail you record is now limited only by the area you have to cover and the time you have to do it. And finally, don't sweat the fact that you've got an inconsistent scale over the whole map. More detail here, less detail there, doesn't matter. That's the way of mineralisation systems. 